have a question for you. Do you have picky eaters, or I should say problem eaters, where picky eaters, their kids that just, they have picky, they just, I don't like that, I don't like this. And they have a few select things, or problem eaters that just don't want to eat anything, but like two whole things. Well, I have picky eaters and I have problem eaters. And they've been like that their whole life. Part of it is because they've been allowed to get away with it. And part of it is, she's simpler, she's easier not to, not to fight your kids. Well, I have learned some ways to be able to sneak some new things in, like vegetables, into my kids' diet. Because that is where we battle the most, is with the vegetables. Now, I didn't like vegetables as a kid either, but I kind of ate them. Because, you know what? You do what your parents say. And my parents were kind of parents like, you can sit there for an hour because you're going to eat them. So... But in a way, I thank them now because I absolutely love vegetables. And there's certain vegetables I don't have a problem eating at all. I love broccoli. I love green beans. I can eat them all day. And I like sweet peas. Not as much as green beans or broccoli, but I do like them. So I am coming around and I'm learning, to, learning what my favorites are. So one of the ways or some of the ways that I have learned that you can sneak in is a lot of companies are learning, hey, Parents are having problems with this. Let's help them out with some of their kids' favorites. We'll slip some things in. Chef Wardy has where they put veggies in, like the kids' raviolis and spaghettios and stuff. So we've got to check those out because some of them they're actually in them. You just have to read. Um, there is I don't remember the name of it, but there is a company who makes cheese crackers that there's veg there's vegetables in there. Also, those little pouches, little apple juice pouches, they're putting vegetables in there. So if your kids are like those and your little kids are littler, those are great for you. My kids are older. One's gonna about to be 15 and the other one's 11, so it's a little harder to try those things. Now the crackers I could get away with, but some of the other stuff is a little harder. So here's some ways that I have been able to sneak them. One of them is my kids love fruit snacks. And Mott's is amazing because for like $1.88 to $2.00, between $1.88 and $2, depending on what store you go to, you can get these Mott's um, fruit snacks and they have vegetables and fruit juice in them to kind of help you out. So these are really good and I can get my kids to eat those. Another thing is Capri Sun has done it too. And they were a little bit later on in there. Um, I know that a couple other companies were like, uh, there's another one now, I just forgot the name of it. But a couple other companies were trying to do it before, but they seem to have stuck around the longest. So now they're doing it. So that's exciting. And another way that I've been trying to do it is sneaking it into dinner. Now, there are a few things that my kids will eat. I have a few things where we've been trying to get them to eat. Now, I know this has been a long time ago, but I did a video like way back when I first started this channel about problem eating with the kids and we're still having issues. Now, we are coming around, but we're still having issues. So, one of the things are we've been sneaking them in with these parades and I bought these a little while ago, but I hadn't started using them until here recently and honestly, they haven't complained that they tasted it or that the food has tasted funny. So, we're going to keep continuing to use these. The first one I used was the carrot one and I put it in tacos and I put it in spaghetti and no one complained and honestly I couldn't even taste that it was in there. So this is going to be this week's one and we're actually going to put, this is um, butternut squash puree and it just looks like this um, and I'm honestly going to put this probably in the mac and cheese or maybe in the barbecue sauce. Um, but it's just a fun way and then it kind of can show you like on the side of the package it kind of shows you a couple ideas on the back of the package it shows you a couple ideas but this is just simply balanced it's just um you can get them at target they are kind of expensive i think i paid like three dollars or something like that for and there's like two little packets per thing so i think i did pay a little bit i mean it's a little bit for it but for me if it if it gets my kids to eat great and then I can always learn to pray later on in life, later on down the road, once I get them to start eating more fruits and vegetables. But these are a couple ways that I've learned to sneak it in there and get them to at least get some fruits and vegetables in to try to have healthier. Now, I know it's not always easy, and I know it's, 
these items do get a little bit more pricier. However, I'm willing to do it if it means that my kids are eating better. So, hope those tips help you. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or any ideas to help, please give me some advice down in the comments below. Or you can send me an email because I'm all for getting more advice to get my kids to eat better, to eat more, and to try new things. Because sometimes, honestly, it is a battle to try to get them to try something new. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.